Here we are. I'm going to call this Fortunate in New York. So let me tell you what happened. Uh, Friday or something like that, I was uh, looking through, I think it was on the internet. It wasn't the paper. Somehow I found out there's this new phone out uh, from a place called, the name of the company is uh, OnePlus, I think. Something like that. Uh, here, OnePlus. And OnePlus had a OnePlus 1 phone, a OnePlus 2 phone. And then they just came with a OnePlus 3 phone. That's what See, one plus three, can't read. Right. One plus three, never settle is there. Is there little thing. So anyway, I went and got the, I went, well, let me tell you how I got the phone. <laughs> because it's not available. From what I understand, the scheme before was you had to be on the internet, get invited somehow, some scheme that they had for this thing. It's a startup company. Uh, they out of, uh, I think they're they're attached with some other company in there. They, I just a big company, let them do what they want to do. Anyway, so I saw this thing that there was going to be a pop-up store about this phone. And uh, I real I have been looking for a new phone. I haven't whatever because my fo other phone is fine, but the battery just goes too quick. Anyway, but it's fine. Uh, so I, w I said, well, let me just check out this phone. So I went down to where the pop-up store was existed because pop-ups are just one-time event. And it's uh, the Magnum. You know, Magnum ice. The people in South Africa know what I'm talking about Magnum ice cream, the big, you know, the old uh, whatever that thing is. Anyway, that was it. They have a store, and they also I talked to the guy. He also had a store in Cape Town, so maybe I go back and just check it out, even though there's other ice cream in Cape Town. It's an ice cream store. So I went there and I just I asked the manager. I just or the, the owner. I just said, uh, look, there was an event. Can you just tell me about the the um, Can I get in touch with the you know with the event people? And he says, well, hold on. Uh, I said, because you know I want to check out this phone, try to buy a phone. He says, well, hold on. I might have a phone for you. I'll come back in a little bit. So I went with my boy Grayson. We went got some cash out the machine now I'm totally broke anyway um, so I came back and sure enough he had a, he had a phone for me you know he did it, it, as it was after the event which had you know when these pop events they have uh, the lines around the block to get these things well at the um, uh, they had two he had two more phones that they he was had to turn back to the company later on that day so nobody nobody knew this so anyway so he, I, he allowed me to buy a phone and with the phone uh, he said, at this event you're supposed to get a bunch of stuff uh, this and so it costs swag they with all these uh, what do you call these these um, things stickers in it a bunch of stickers I'm not gonna show you that but, but I got it someplace anyway you know it comes in a nice little box or whatever it is and, uh, and this is the phone here but this is the phone yeah, get it. Oh, it gives you a nice little uh, backing. They gave you a, a case. They called it a case. Um, all for the price. The case was sort of, uh, I guess it was extra, but they uh, it came, came with the came freed. But you have a little ba a bag, but you know, bag went missing, whatever it is. So anyway, for three ninety nine, three hundred ninety nine uh, dollars, I got this uh, new phone. Now the poor thing about it is that uh, this phone, it it holds a, it has sixty four gigabytes of memory. Wow, and six. Gig six gigabytes of RAM. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna talk to one of my tech friends. Maybe I'll post it. Talk to one of my tech friends, and he'll tell me about it. I think on Tuesday, so I'll do that. Anyway, so it's a nice feel. This this covering, whatever have you. I like the phone enough. Like I said, it's called a uh, a OnePlus uh, three model, and so that's it. And but the the other big thing, they have this thing called a a dash thing. And you plug it in, and the phone charges really quick. They say like in 20 minutes, uh, you know, zero to 20, you 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 get like a 60 percent worth of your thing. But I just was here like maybe a, a half hour. My phone, the phone was down. I plugged it in, and it's 100 percent now. So it's, so I'm going like, hey, that's good. See, so 100 percent. Anyway, so that's one fortunate thing that happened. Lucked out. Hey, that's pretty good. Except that I ain't got no money now. Now the other thing that was more interesting, that's another interesting thing. Uh, when I did come into town, I always go past the National Black Theater. I'm close to it right now. And uh, in, the, in the theater, that event was going to go on, right? And this event uh, uh, is the uh, uh, Barbara and Tears Spirit Awards. And uh, one of the people on it was listed on the poster was uh, Paul Carter Harrison, who's an author. I'm on him later. Anyway, uh, but that was like $200. I knew I wasn't going to go to that. So I just put it in the back of my mind. I had to go to the station, to WBAI. I was on a, a, a Wiz program, an uh, uh, Afro, Afro, Afro beat program. Then I was just going to stay to uh, Liquid Sound Lounge with, with Jeannie Hopper and, 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 and Stephen and Reggie and whatever. Uh, but so I was staying. But as it was, you know, uh, Jeannie didn't come anywhere. They was putting a, a, a pre-recorded program. So I told Reggie, okay, fine, let me just 
slide on and back uptown. So I had this time. Oh no, I wanted to go see the uh, De Palma film. It's a De Palma documentary. And I see in South Africa, we don't get the films, you know, especially no doc documentaries. I don't mean you got to go to the big cities like uh, maybe Durban or, or Cape Town for these film festivals, but usually we don't get these films. So if I'm in the States, I got to see, uh, you know, see some films because I'm actually a cinephile. People don't know this, but it's a long a past life. So I really wanted to see this documentary of Brian De Palma. So I went there just to check it. And then I realized I didn't have my glasses. So I said, well, let me just go another another day so I'm at the theater ready so I just went around the corner no I'm sorry on the way to the on the way to the movie theater to find out what the time was and whatever happened I realized I didn't have my glass I knew I was gonna go in uh, found a store uh, on, on Mercer Street uh, Mercer books on Mercer Street and uh, it's an old-time bookstore don't I love it you know and I was going in there for some Antonini Arto because it has two of my studies and so I went to the theater section and uh, no Arto but as soon as I got there popped out of the shelf right there was the drama of Nomo. Now I know this book uh, because I know it was around in the 60s is really about the, the black theater but this is a, uh, a treatise that came out in the 60s is really about black theater and black culture uh, but the book was there and I do have another copy down with my sisters and I was actually gonna bring the copy with me you know home but I said okay let me just get this because I can't remember where it is who knows I might not be able to find it so I got the book and then I went and ate, and then you know I started going home, and I realized, hey, it was time this gala thing that was happening last night was going to be over. So let me just let me just sit here, and you know, when they come out, maybe I can run into Paul Carter Harrison, and you know, and uh, talk to him because I want to interview him, you know. But they was letting out, but then I went upstairs. I knew I know some people in the Negroes, in the uh, uh, National Black Theater. So um, uh, one of the sisters, she said, I said, well, look, you know, I'm not dressed. You know, I, I, you know, I'm just really trying to. I need to talk to Paul Carter. I said, oh yeah, he's in there. So she took me to him, and I met him, and I and I told him, look, blah blah blah. He even signed. It says, Anthony, thanks for recovering this work, Paul Carter uh, Harrison. So. Uh, so I got so so I got the book. I got his autograph. He gave me his phone number, and hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to um, interview him. And so you know, we'll see what happens because oh, this is like an important person in Black cultural life or in, in theater history. So it'll be like really wonderful. So that's it. Fortunate in New York. That's me, T, from the Patterson's Technic Train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.